Hey everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Atomic Picnic. This is a third person roguelike um, bullet heaven swarm survivor kind of game going on. Uh, it is an early alpha playtest, so everything here is kind of like, you know, subject to change. I just want, I want to make that very clear before I started. Uh, I'm going to try the grenade launcher. I've done one run before this and I had a pretty good time. It was like 30 minutes. So let's go to the train plateau, which I guess is the only stage unlocked. My first thought was this is kind of Risk of Rainy, but I never really got into Risk of Rain, but I really like the way this game controls so far. I do have one problem with it, and that is that, uh, that is that you can't pause it currently. It's like, seems like online only. It has kind of this like Fortnite-y kind of look, which uh, I guess is good for, you know, all all systems also the soundtrack is currently only one oh i kind of want to change the sound here guy can you leave me alone for a second kind of want to change the sound just a little bit um which i guess the fortnite look is pretty good graphically uh so far um i would say the game feels really good to play. My main enjoyments are the mobility, like being able to dash around and use this like air grab thing, like the Attack on Titan <laughs> air gear, and then having a dash in addition to that makes the mobility feel like really good. And then the game also has fast reloads, which I haven't seen in a game in a while. Now, I haven't played shooters that much recently, played more roguelikes, right? But um, having it built in, I think, is pretty good. This is up to four players, I believe. But it is, you know, again, this is an alpha playtest. You have to request invite on Steam and you may or may not get it. I don't know. I don't know how long the playtest is going on either. But it is pretty interesting. Um, that the gameplay is actually already pretty good. And you have all these upgrades. Um, ear dashing through would be damage will heal you instead. That seems really good. So I can dash through projectiles and potentially heal. Well, that wasn't. That wasn't really it, was it? That healed me for five. That seems like a good way of healing. Uh, one thing, my immediate feedback was like, it just said the zone like spawned an offering, which is like a shop, I think. Uh, I have no idea where that is. Charge yourself by running, use the air gear to damage nearby enemies. Yeah, let's go like dash build. Uh, I don't think there's like a ton of upgrades right now that there's enough variety that I had choice in my first run, but I'm seeing a lot of the same abilities. There's also no reroll. Um, so hopefully that's like a thing in the future, obviously, is, you know, work on the core mechanics of the game and then you figure out crazy fun upgrades because that's easier to implement. I do it like the controls of this game are so good. I don't have a good way of like explaining game feel, I don't think, without, uh, you know, playing it yourself. But this game does game feel like incredibly well. I don't know if I finished my thought, but I definitely wish there was like a mini map for the like shop that just opened because I have no idea where it is. And those stages are pretty big. Like, there's a wide area we could go to. Also, XP does drop on the ground. I messed up the auto reload because I was pressing to shoot instead of holding. Should it be holding it down? And then there's bosses once you hit the defeat, however, X many enemies. Um, that's a Soulstone Survivors kind of mechanic. There's like four unlockable weapons right now, a few characters, and some few secondaries. Shockwave, the higher the fall, the more damage you deal. I don't even know. Teddy bear is um, garlic. 
from Vampire Survivors, so we could just take that. But yeah, I think this is the first one of these that I've played that's like truly third, like third person aside. I don't know. Because the Risk of Rain isn't exactly a survivor game, right? It's just a roguelike. This feels very much like third person vampire survivors. Just very early. Just a very early version of that. And I think it could be really fun in multiplayer if you get, you know, super friends playing. If it gets all the content and whatnot that it needs, right? Level ups feel good. This like the animation for that feels good. Um, changes your weapon firing trigger to work like a minigun. OK. That's kind of funny since we have a grenade launcher. <laughs> Very satisfying hit sounds. I messed up the fast reload. But yeah, the the like movement around the level feels good. Also, the enemies do not joke around like <laughs> you might think, oh, you just kite all the enemies around really freely. No, they'll just jump up to whatever level you're on. I do think it needs an offline mode, 100 percent. Like not being able to pause kind of sucks. In my opinion. And I don't think that's like a I don't think that's a me thing. I think that's just like a. That should be a thing. Uh, I'm going to dash this way. I messed it up again. Great. Um, hopefully this is the shop. Random upgrade damage bonus. Give me the damage bonus. I cannot seem to actually. <laughs> I cannot seem to actually buy an upgrade without getting hit. Which feels that part feels bad, I think. Teddy bear, more damage, more range. On our garlic. The game also has pretty good bosses, at least the the two that I fought. Um, I didn't win because the second boss got me. Um, I don't even know how you win, honestly. The second boss had like weak spots that you had to hit. And um, it was like a closing arena. I assume it was the final boss because it was like 30 minutes in kind of felt right, but I was also like killing a lot slower than I am now, I think. Just trying to get a hang of the movement and all. Because I thought this area said training grounds at first, not train grounds, but then I learned how to read. So that was cool. I'd like to jump this way, please. Thank you. Uh, there's also like healing shrines that spawn. And you get healing from uh, items and whatnot. I definitely feel like I like the assault rifle a little bit better. Maybe that's just maybe I'm just an assault rifle kind of basic guy. That thing that thing shot in front of me. I just realized that he shot where I was going, not where I was. Impressive enemy. I do feel like I'm doing a lot of like backwards strafing in this game, which I don't. Without a mini map and knowing where enemies are, I don't know if that's the best feeling in the world either. So, you know, if a dev watches that, just, you know, I, I think I think having some type of backwards minimap. It's kind of the same feedback I gave for Vampire Hunters. Whereas walking backwards in the swarm games does not particularly feel good. We have fully healed and then we're immediately took, da took damage so we can get some more heals. I guess I do have the heal on dash. Snake boys. 
fired at me. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. Thanks for the food. Yummy. Dumb snake. Zone has spawned a healing shrine. Acceptable. I would like to level up. Thanks. Um, Teddy bear up oh, more range, more damage. Can't be bad. I just totally didn't fast reload for no apparent reason. I'd like to dash through that to heal and get me out of here, please. It is very busy. I'm kind of surprised at how many enemy types there were for like this super early playtest, but. Again, alpha playtest demo, like not. Not for, uh, you know, full demonstration or whatever. Not even a beta. But I do, you know, I I enjoyed it enough that I thought, yeah, let's let's make a video on it. Because, you know, this is a genre that I play a lot of games in and it is a big game. I think I think this is that uh, Asmund Gold network, whatever game that they're publishing, actually. If I'm not mistaken, which whether that's a plus or minus for you, I, I don't think it really matters, right? Like, if if the game's good, we play it. If it's not good, we won't play it. I don't really care who's publishing it, right? Unless it's like full of AI bullshit, then we then we have to think about it. But even then, if the game is so good, I mean, it's not going to stop people from playing it, so. So whatever. Anyways, let's collect some of this purple XP. Try and level up. I'm gonna be a boss soon. Absorb three. Now let's get ghost story. Get some little ghosts around us. Um, fire. Okay. Well, I was hoping I could time that better. I did not. Yeah. One thing I found is because you have to pick up XP. Um, it seems like I end up fighting enemies all in the same area. Like you just kind of pick a spot and farm there. That's probably not something you'd want to have when you have like such a such a big map as this game. Like it's big. Um, feels like it'd probably be better served having. I don't know. I. I just don't really love auto like XP manual pickup in general, but I know having auto pickup on XP like chain it's like makes a big difference. Uh, whenever you successfully flash reel, create a sound wave. It's pretty good. Hold damage the longer increase damage the longer you hold fire. Um, let's take the walkie pod for reloading quite a bit. also a decent sound a decent uh, little visual effect here yeah I think the movements the big part right now the movement and gunplay feels good um, just full stop it just feels really good I don't feel like I'm ever like I don't feel like the game's ever stopping me from doing what I'm trying to do or where I'm trying to get to it's unless my like cooldowns are off right It almost feels like there should be a sprint button, but I don't think there is. Or at least I haven't figured out any kind of sprint. And again, it would be cool if there was like more shops maybe or more. I think just like more random events that don't involve meteors falling on our head. To like have you go from place to place and maybe some shrine. Okay, well, we got we got the first boss here. Little Mac. All right, it's the same as the first time, so it's probably just the same bosses, which makes sense. 
Uh, he's putting us in a slow field now, so that's why I couldn't move. You'll see that once I land, he's probably just gonna like teleport to where we are. Yeah. The problem I have is that we don't have much HP. So you kind of have to save your dodge for this guy is what I figured out. Um, because you can dash out of the aura, but if you get stuck inside of it, it's a, it's a bad time. He's just chilling over there. Um, okay. I guess we're going down. And again, there's certain... Sometimes you want to be in, like, corridors, it feels like. And then sometimes, like, with this guy, I want to be, like, in an open field. Also forgetting about my grenade. Oh, that was close. Close to very bad. And again, I'm someone who has like put no time into Risk of Rain 2, and this does give like those vibes. So I'm sure those of you who are like good at that will probably feels like that'll translate pretty good to this game. But this is definitely more survivory than than the other. Uh, that wasn't cool of you to just respawn on my face like that. I'd like to get out of here. You're in my personal space, sir. And then there's like a loot explosion now that he's dead. I thought it was cool and I fell down, so all the loot's gone. Well, it's not gone, but it's up here. Give me, give me all the shiny crystals. Please, thank you. Level me up. Drink some water, it's important. Teddy bear? Don't even have time to think. Oh, we do have three rerolls. Um. You know what? Was that there earlier? Was that there on my first level up? Did I pick those up? I'm not really sure. Um, hold up. Okay, my mouse kind of spasmed there. I don't know if that was the game or my mouse, but I couldn't move left or right. Defeat 300 enemies. There's a bunch of XP over there. Looks like it does give you a little bit of time to like chill out after the boss, which I appreciate. Get a level. Mr. Pinball. Bullets have a chance of ricocheting nearby enemies. That could be good. 12% chance. I mean, for a grenade launcher, that seems like something that would be good. I didn't use my last bullet. I don't know how we're actually going to beat the the next boss, though. I guess with the absorb thing, I could probably absorb the projectiles he shoots at me, hopefully. And now here's my other thing, like, where, I guess the shop's over there, like way over there. I need a mini map, that's what we need. Fast reloading, buffs the weapons, um, no, we'll upgrade the, upgrade our minigun buff. So we could fire more. We have a decent amount of money. Let's uh, let's go to the other. Let's go to the shop, I guess. Walkie pod. Battleground pan. I'm gonna reroll. I would like. I'll take ghost story. I say I would like. Oh my gosh, I would like the upgrade for the hold down the button for a minigun thing, but. It is what it is. At least we know which direction we're going. 
Oh, this was a healing shrine, not not the shop. Well, where, oh, where was the shop then? There should be some type of like glowing light towards it, but it seemed completely random as to where it spawned. The zone has spawned an offer. Okay, there's stuff over there. Maybe it wasn't a shop. Maybe it was just a shrine. Maybe it's random when it, the zone spawns. It's underneath. I want damage cooldown reduction. No, random upgrade damage, please. And you can only buy one thing. I feel like I have way more money than I need. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of damage. I'm stuck in a corner. Stuck in a corner. <laughs> uh, I was hoping I could heal some through that. Let's go with. Let's go. None of these. This thing. This is what I wanted. Noticeable upgrade. <laughs> I need to be ready to uh, dash through a projectile or something. as I'm pretty desperate for heals. And if the boss spawns while we're at 30, I don't feel like I have any sort of chance at all. Okay. That was some healing. Then we took more damage. Don't know how I feel about it. Don't know how I feel about it, but we're trying to make it work. Again, I wish I could put pause. The game has spawned a, lo a healing shrine. We almost got exploded. We got to kill four more enemies to trigger the elite. Some big old snake boys. There's like just big old everything. Octavio, a linger of the harvest festival. Okay, yep, same as last time. Let's take absorb. Then we get bigger heals. It's uh this squid thing. You have to shoot his uh his weak points on his body. Very much um that tree from Dark Souls 3. I don't know, and like a billion other games. Well, not this part. This part, you're just supposed to bring down his shield. But I don't really know how to dodge his stuff here. I'm very bad at that. I think I just need to dash away. All right, now... We have to blow up his uh, little... Eyeballs on the side. While he's down. And then he comes back. And we repeat. But now he's doing a different attack. So he'll mix it up. Um, real hard time dodging this. You also can't just run away because there's like a storm, very Fortnite style blocking. Um, I will take the tag. And at some point he spawns adds, which is a whole nother problem. Yeah, so this is like not not easy. I kind of wish I could like zoom out a little bit more because I feel like when I'm pointing up and aiming at him, I can't really see. So that's some other like I can zoom in, which is like great, but could I zoom out, please? <laughs> so much for absorb. 
Oh no. Okay, yeah, there's the there's the wall that I can't go past. Should be able to jump up this way. And we're dead. I think that little guy shot us there in the back. I don't know. But um yeah, so that's Atomic Picnic. I think it's pretty great. Like I said, you could apply for the Steam pre-alpha demo if you want to try and check it out. But um it seems pretty good. There's um like I said, there's unlocks, there's a shotgun, there's an assault rifle. This is currently you can unlock the other characters. I don't know if there's a spot that shows unlocks. There was like a pretty cool thing showing where you get unlocks. Oh. I didn't even know all this happened. I never turned around. Let's see. There's discoveries. Yeah, there's like this. This kind of like quest system outward here. Shows what you have to do to get uh, stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, that's where your unlocks are. And then let's see what's over here. What is equipment? Equipment loadout. Oh, it's the thing that's at the front. That makes sense. And then there was another thing over here, too. So there's just like a little hub area. Mementos? No idea. Oh! Oh, there's meta progression. Well? There's no sound when I click it. Increase your max. Okay, well that's a lot of stats that we just got. That seems really good. Can I recall it for free? I can. I love that. Love that in every game that it exists. Okay, meta progression. There's Captain T pose over there. Equipment again. Training dummies. Cool. Okay, yeah, this game actually has a little bit to it in this demo version. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to this like full release. I'm it's going on my wish list, but. Uh, I thought you guys might want to check it out and be aware of it so you can uh, keep an eye on it yourselves. Anyways, hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that other YouTube stuff, especially if you want to like keep an eye out on upcoming indie games and roguelikes and whatnot that we play on this channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Jeff out. Bye!